Hey, wait, what's up, friends? Guys? We are back again. We are back once again with another banger. Banger reaction video. You know what I'm talking about. Damien Prince talking here. <laughs> with my beautiful white friend hey. over here. Danny. Come on. Come on. Come. Come. Move on back. I'm going to start the video. Yeah. What she said, Bianca. So guys, we're back with another reaction video. The last video reaction to the last video we react to is a Squid Game trial. Now we have like mystery recap, like this channel where I post a video, like cut out it in a short and so like summarize the video, isn't it? So we're gonna summarize it and we're gonna react to the we're gonna react to this right now. Forget the full concept of the game. So this is uh I took our part in a Squid Game. Then they forever. You lose, you die. Yeah. I, I took our part in a yeah, Squid Game. Yeah, this oh. is like the tug of war part. So yeah, we're going to react to this part. Tug of war. The tug of war. Tug of, that, tug of war. Tug of war, not tug of war. Okay. Tug of war. That is it. That is it. Okay, so we're going to react to this. So let the reaction begin. <music> survival drama squid game spoilers ahead watch out and take care song gi yoon is a middle-aged man living in a small house with his mother gi yoon is drowning in loans and has a gambling addiction making their financial condition very poor at breakfast one day gi yoon's mother hands him some money to buy his daughter ga young a birthday dinner gi yoon's ex-wife is married to a wealthy man and doesn't let him see his daughter often so gi yoon is excited to see her for her birthday he asks his mother for some more money to buy ga yoon a gift as well she says she is broke at first but eventually hands him a few extra wands after she leaves gi yoon cunningly gets her credit card and goes to withdraw more money with his fellow gambling friend that's what oh, I say. But in game money, you still got thief in cash, thief your mother cash. They use one ticker box in the way. Do then place their bets on horses, but are down on their luck as they lose every round. Mm -hmm. They do not stop wasting their money, even after losing almost all of it. In the end, gi -yoon finally wins a decent sum of money and is over the moon. Mm -hmm. He even tips the lady who hands him the money and mm -hmm. goes outside celebrating his luck. Just then, gi -yoon notices some men approaching him angrily. They are his debtors. Mm -hmm. As in owe people money, you can't win money and then give your granny back in money. People are gonna come for you. Like, that team must get don't people are gonna come for you. I saw you in a game, that team don't borrow people. Don't oh, borrow. He owes a lot of money. Fearing his recent earnings might be taken, he runs inside the building again and crashes into a girl accidentally. The debtors eventually catch him and threaten to kill him if he doesn't return their money. A scared gi -yoon tries to give them the money he just won, only to discover his pockets empty. He realizes that the girl he crashed into earlier was a pickpocket who stole his money. Skill. No, Giyun. 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 No have no choice now. Thief front, thief. God laugh. You thief for your granny. And you one girl thief back from you. God laugh after you. Giyun no no choice now for... I guess going out of game. And then my rich man they went when he skid game, man. I don't know. I guess so. The debtors, however, do not care about this and start hitting Giyun. They use a scalpel and put it into his nostrils, making him plead for his life. They say they will return after one month, mm. and they leave. Now the man has zero money left. Hence, he goes back to the girl he tipped earlier, and asks for his money back. He still doesn't have enough to buy his daughter a gift. Well, at least he back. Yeah, at least he back, but... Come on. A good thing in the game still. He should have given more. So, instead... He settles to winning her one from a claw machine. But with his luck, he cannot even get one toy into the hole. 
A little kid beside him offers to help and finally wins a black gift box. They celebrate the small win, and Giyun leaves after thanking the kid. <laughs> he probably should have taken that kid to the horse track. He takes his daughter to a Tyokboki stall, and the two enjoy the food. Gaiyong is worried to see cuts and bruises on her father's face, which Giyun says are just mosquito bites. He hands her the gift without checking what is inside the box. Gaiyong is surprised to see it is a unshaped lighter. Giyun takes the gift back and promises to get her a better one next year. At last, he brings his daughter to her mother and parts after saying goodbye. Giyun is now at a train station where he is approached by a well-mannered and well-dressed man. He invites Giyun to play a game of Dakshi, a game where they should flip a card by... But like, for you see Lu, look at just though. You can just say some well ...hitting it with another card. The man claims he will give Giyun 100,000 won if he wins, but if he loses, the man will slap his face. As they play, Giyun loses several rounds, getting slapped by the man numerous times. His cheek starts to bruise badly, but he doesn't stop. At last, he finally wins a round and gets the money he was promised. Then, the well-dressed man hands him a card, asking him to call the number if he wants to play more games like this. On his way home, Giyun meets an old woman who is his friend Sang Wu's mother. She boasts about her son currently being on a business trip to the US. At night, Giyun and his mother are having dinner when she tells him that his ex-wife's family is moving to the US. Hence, he won't be able to see Gaiyong again. Giyun is shocked, but cannot do anything because his ex-wife has the complete custody of his daughter because of his financial problems. That night, in desperation, he calls the number the man gave him and is called to a place nearby. A van pulls up in front of him and he is asked to get inside. As soon as he steps in, a gas spreads throughout the vehicle that knocks him out. When he wakes up, Giyun is in a bunk bed with several other people around him. His clothes have been changed and all of his belongings are gone. Everyone seems to be as confused as him. We see that everyone in the room is being monitored by cameras. Giyun meets an old man. Has the number 001 written on his vest, while Giyun has 456 written on his. The man says that he is suffering from a brain tumor. As they talk, a fight catches their attention. The girl who has stolen Giyun's money the previous day is fighting with a man who appears to be a gangster. Giyun interferes and threatens the girl to give him his money back. Their argument is stopped when the facility's staff, dressed in red suits and masks, enters the room. They welcome the people and announce that they will be playing six games in six days. And those who win all six of them will win a lot of prize money. One of the participants is Sang Wu, Giyun's childhood friend who was supposed to be on a business trip to the US, according to his mother. It turns out that he is wanted by the police because he owes his client a total of 650 Million one. So we are going to get themselves into. Just forget money. They willing to get money. They just willing to get money. You have to tell me. You have to tell me exactly what me are going to do. Exactly what me are going to do. Come in and jump in and say, Oh, you're going to get money. Boof. Head first. Broke neck. Dead. No. Can't do that. You have to know where you get yourself in there. Just jump in this. You, you want me to call a look bad boy then just in a pink. Bro, it look like Red. pink. Honestly, honestly, look pink honestly, look like pink. Nah, right. honestly, look like pink. Nah, right. honestly, look like pink. Shortly after, a sphere is brought to the ceiling of the room, which the staff claims will be filled with money once they complete the first game. Everyone is confused, but agrees to play the game anyway. They are made to sign a rule book that has only three rules. One, players are not allowed to stop playing once the game has begun. Two, any player who refuses to play will be eliminated. And three, the games will be terminated if the majority votes on it. Everyone signs the form and gets ready for the first game. Outside the room is a maze-like hallway. The contestants are made to take pictures and then are taken to a field that has a creepy statue of a doll on the far side. Giyun approaches his old friend, Sang Wu, and asks him why he lied to his mother. As they talk, they are interrupted by an announcement, asking them to stay behind the white line. Mm -hmm. Well, him lied to him, mother, him tea, friend, granny. Hey, mother, see him here. 
I beat the granny. Oh, I feel well. I feel one lie to your mother. Oh, Why did you steal from your mother? I bet you never know. Why did you steal from your mother? Yeah, you want to teach you. Because you want to you want to teach you. Because you Why did you lie to your mom? Why did you steal from yours? Because you want to teach you. Because you want to teach you. Because you want yeah, but this I'm gonna look like this I'm gonna look like the, the headmaster. Inside the facility, the overseer of the games gets a call from somewhere. He takes his place in front of the monitor and watches everyone play. Back in Alright, so let's start again, yes. They're told that the first game is red light, green light. As the statue of the girl said, we are primary school. Yeah, we used to play it like in that one, two, three, red light. light. Yeah, I gave the bad stuff. If you're told us, it's my young day old. Isn't it? Oh, so I guess they're the old. Like red light, they have to freeze, and they can only move forward when the girl turns around and says green light. If anyone is caught moving, the statue will sense the motion, and the person will be eliminated. The game begins and goes on regularly for a while. That is, until the statue detects a motion, and one man is eliminated. He is shot dead at that very moment. The others do not comprehend what is happening, so they play the next round. But soon they find out the people who are eliminated are actually being killed. Chaos ensues, and people start running for the exit, and they are all shot. A pile of dead bodies falls around the entrance, and the place turns into a bloodbath. I will never look at this game the same way again. Only a handful of contestants remain frozen in fear. From the next round, everyone starts being more careful. Mm. Giyun is still frozen on the ground, but moves when Sang Wu asks him to. He almost falls down once, but is saved by a man behind him, named Ali. More people die as the game continues, and in the end, some of them finally pass the game, including Giyun, Sang Wu, the pickpocket girl, Sei Byok, the old man, Enom, the gangster, Dioksu, and the guy who saved Giyun, mm. Ali. As the camera pans out, we see that they are on a secluded island and the facility is underground. The staff clean up the dead bodies and burn them in furnaces. The surviving contestants are brought back to the room and are all shaken by what they just witnessed. Giyun thanks Ali for saving his life yeah, early. Me, if I'm me, honestly, I'm make it true. Me, I, well, let's say, I can't leave the game. You sign the contract, I can't leave the game. Mm. But like... They will kill you. Isn't me, but like... Damn. <laughs> what do I want to know who the back of this, like really and truly, who the back of the, the squid game? Right then, the staff enter the room and congratulate them for completing the first round. The number of contestants has decreased from 456 to 201, meaning that 255 contestants were killed. You know, man? You know, man? You want people them kill? Yep. You want people them kill? Mm -hmm. One of the girls falls down on her knees and begs the staff to let them go. Some others join and do the same. Soon, everyone is asking them to let them go free. However, the staff reminds them the second rule of the game and threatens to kill them if they refuse to play. But Sang Wu claps back with the third rule, according to which, if the majority agrees to end the game, they will. The staff can see. Sang Wu is smart. Him should actually go do business, me feeling that we get you in business. Cheers. Isn't me? But I'm way more inclined to our money. <laughs> but you clap back with the, with the third rule after a man yeah. clap back with the second rule. So everybody will disagree. Is anybody will agree after they see that day? If they, after they see so much people, they are mad people. Stupid. But let me tell you one thing what they're supposed to go use for, for me. They want to play like. Remember Increase saying, in the money to round, one billion more. No, listen. Remember saying the first round, then they say after the first game, mm -hmm. they're going to see money in there something. Mm -hmm. And see how much they're going to get. So. But wants to show them the prize money before having them vote. Mm -hmm. The sphere that was on the ceiling earlier mm -hmm. is then filled with bundles of cash. The staff claims the winner will be able to take home 45.6 billion won. But if they decide to stop playing, the families of the dead people... Hundred million won each, and the living will get nothing. The prize money tempts everyone, and the ones who were against the game earlier start voting for it to continue. 
The winning vote is decided by Enom, who votes against the games at the end. Finally, they will be allowed to go home without any damage. The staff says that if the majority of them want to play the game again, they will be contacted. In the following scene, Giyun and Sabiok are thrown out of a van with their hands tied. The same happens with Ali and Sang Wu. All of them go their separate ways. Sang Wu even hands Ali some money for his bus fare. Giyun goes to the police directly and tells them about his kidnapping, but they find it hard to believe that the kidnappers sent him back because he voted for it. One police officer named Jun Ho is at the station as well. The card Giyun is holding catches his attention. Giyun then goes back to his home, only to find his mother missing. It turns out that she is severely diabetic. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to go back. That's in why Africa I go back. Go back. In Africa, go back. In Africa, go back. After in TV, Madam Moni. In Africa, go back. Then never get over the guilt. And has been admitted to the hospital because of extreme pain. Giyun rushes to the hospital to see his mother's feet covered in wounds. The doctors say only surgery can save her life, but they cannot afford it. Elsewhere, we see the police officer Jun Ho talking to his mother about his brother. Jun Ho's brother has been missing for a few days now, which worries him. At his brother's apartment, he finds the same card that Giyun was showing the police earlier. He decides to follow Giyun and asks him about the card. Meanwhile, the pickpocket Sabiok goes to meet her brother in an orphanage. It turns out that the girl is a North Korean escapee whose when parents. I look funny, you know? When I look funny, everybody go out, but go want to play back a game, feel like get their family in a better position. Mm -hmm. Because the police are going to find back in bed and may I better say in bed and they will play the game. You know, see, you can't deny exactly. man. So, you can't call the people and they come for you and you left the card there. You're still stuck in North Korea. She wants to collect more money to get her back and get her brother out of the orphanage. Ali, on the other hand, goes to his work to meet his boss. He has come to Korea from Pakistan to earn money, but he hasn't been paid for six months now. He has his wife and a little son at home who he has to fend for. Ali's boss has a bundle of money in front of him, but he refuses to pay. An enraged Ali accidentally pushes him into a machine, which crushes his fingers. He takes the money and runs away right after. At home, he hands his wife the money and asks her to run back to Pakistan with their son. He assures her that he will come back later, hugging his wife for the last time before leaving. Yo, they ain't sitting here touching, bro. You, well, at least he must deserve it. At least this is a yo. Everybody have a reason for your play. Right? Everybody have a reason for your gamble in this, but don't gamble, as I'm say. Don't gamble. You know, Satisfied do you have? Please. Well, Sang Wu calls his mother and lies to her about being in the U.S. His mother happily asks him not to get her any gifts and ends the phone call. Right after the call, the old woman is approached by some police officers asking her about Sang Wu. They tell her that he is under investigation for stealing his client's money and ask her to report him if he comes to her. The woman is shocked and embarrassed in front of her customers. At the same time, Sang Wu receives a card from the same facility again. Giyun, on the other hand, has no way to treat his mother's illness. He goes to his ex-wife to ask her for help, but she refuses to help him. As they argue, her new husband and their children return home. Giyun walks out, only to be called back by the husband. He hands him a bundle of money and asks Giyun to never approach his family again. An enraged Giyun punches him in the face, claiming that he cannot take his daughter away. Right then, his daughter comes outside and sees her father hitting her stepfather. She looks at Giyun in disappointment. Later, he walks back home, totally defeated and helpless. The police officer Jun Ho is waiting for him outside his house. He asks Giyun about the card, but Giyun dismisses it, saying that he was just drunk when he made the police report. He has made the decision to go back to the place again, and doesn't want to cause any trouble with the police. Jun Ho tries to get him to talk, but Giyun dismisses him. While walking outside, he finds the card stuck to a door. He calls the number, and goes back to get picked up again. Similarly, Sang Wu, Enam, Deoksu, Sabiok, and Ali have decided to go back to continue the game as well. The episode ends as they get inside the van, and are knocked out by the gas, again. Subscribe. Like yo, yo, I just said the show is interesting. The show is interesting, Danny. Stop, stop telling me. The show is interesting. You yeah. like it. The show is interesting. Me like it. Me like the show. It's really interesting. So Don't like it. Well, I'm going to react to it. Well, we are going to react to the second part. We'll show you that watch first. But yeah, because I want to see the rest of the show. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to watch it, though. We don't watch it and hear what they must say. And now you like people that talk about it. So we'll see you next time.
Whether we'll see you in a few. We'll see you in a few. Yeah, couple signing out.